Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our hot seat campaign as Rhodes in RTR Imperium Serectum with rather incoherent. And first of all, I've got to say kudos. Kudos to Rain, man. Really, really amazing he's managed to pull through from this. I did expect that we'd probably have to restart, but fair play. What a beast of a man for managing to pull us through this. And like I say, I didn't mean for this to happen. I've tried it twice, and neither time did we get bombed by a full stack. But fair play that we are here. And thank you to Rain for putting up with my, uh, my cursed save. I mean, if you could hear stress through text on Discord then uh, my ears would be ringing because we were messaging during when he was playing that second episode. But yeah, fair play. What a man for doing it. I've got his single sentence for you guys, and here it is. I've sold everything. I've sold our maps. I've sold our loyalty. I've sold the library at Alexandria. I've sold everything anyone would buy. I've used that money to buy an army. Good use of money, by the way. Now it's up to you to make Egypt bleed with it. Yes, and I have heard that Alexandria might not be such a great city anymore. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, let's have a look around. So, we've got our armies over here. We've also got an army on the boats down here. And, of course, we still have our guys across this way. We are getting a ship in here and upgrading Lindos into a minor city, which is fantastic. We've also got a few slingers on the way, and the Ptolemies are too busy over here fighting, which is great. We've also got our diplomat, and if we have a look at our diplomatic standing, <laughs> I know Rain has just continued what I've been doing. Look at the amount of trade partners we've got and alliances we have. But I have found a cheeky little avenue right now to support our economy, and I know it is very cheap doing this, but both of us have had to do this, basically, to keep this campaign alive. And, uh, yeah, 10,000 for the boys. That's very demanding, right? Let's have a look then. Let's try about 7,000 and see whether they will accept that as balance. Okay, no. We're going to try next turn to that. How about the GCS? So we are going to go into the negative, unfortunately. I'm going to bring these guys off the boat for now. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... Am I going to leave them on the boats? I think we're going to leave this army on the boats for now. Bring them off next turn. We're going to stay on the bridge here in case these guys leave the siege and we need to get rid of this army, Captain Python. And he has no rams or anything at the minute, so we should be fine for a couple of turns. We've got some good garrisons over here doing well. 43 Rhodian Slingers there, blocking us off. So we are pretty much safe in this little area, which is really important, apart from Cato Diaspolis. But I think we have a little tactic that we can use to get Alexandria back because <laughs> apparently I'm obsessed with Alexandria in this playthrough. I have no idea why. But anyway, let's press that end turn, guys, and I will see you after that. So here we are. And the aim for today really is, <laughs> I mean, my personal aim for this episode is to leave the save in a stable state. Unlike last time. <laughs> I want to repay the favor to Rain for saving this campaign by giving him a strong position at the end of this. So let's see whether we can do that today. That would be fantastic. Of course, we are still besieged. Ptolemies and Chios are at war. That always happens and seems to repeat itself quite a bit. We've got a really good uh, uh, navy here now. Now I'm going to pop into here. I'm going to attack these guys and retreat for a second. I'm going to pop them off the ships. And we are going to come and join this army together. Fantastic. Let's sort those troops out. We don't have much infantry, of course. Lots of the slingers, which are a fantastic unit. We know that. And um, we're going to pop. We are in the port right now. Fantastic. Anyone else we want to bring with us? I mean, it's mainly Akontistai. And there is this guy who isn't quite safe unless we build a fort there. But that's fine. We're going to also try one more time to talk to the Antigonids. So let's talk to them. Let's try and get an alliance. And try and give them, like, 5,000? Like, would you take that? Generous still? Let's try 6,000. It's going to break a couple of our other alliances, but these alliances are kind of meaningless at this point. Proposal. Like, we are just trying to rinse money out of these boys. 
<laughs> now, it is very cheap. We do know that. We do know that. That has broken a couple of alliances. Sparta and Megalopolis. But that's fine. Um, it is very cheap. I know that. But that is what we have to do to survive. Because of my cursed antics in the first episode. So, let's get going. Let us fight this army. It's a pretty darn decent uh, army in terms of infantry. So... Uh, and the Matroi Foroi Cavalry are not bad at all either. But I think we can do quite well with our two generals. We've got Aristophanes here who's just come of age. Uh, I'm assuming anyway because he's only 17. And he's got minus one lots of traits. So it doesn't really matter too much if he dies. But we don't have many family members. So ideally, we don't really want any more family member deaths at all. Who's in here? Well, we do have more hoplites and archers there. So that is fantastic. So, let's get into the battle then. I think it's going to be okay. If we survive enough, then I have a plan for afterwards. But we may not survive enough. They don't have a general though, so that should be very nice for us. So, I'll see you on the battlefield, guys. Yes, I mean, probably not as great as the Ptolemies, but <laughs> okay. Right, let's have a look for that settlement. Where actually is the settlement? Normally, you can see it in the distance. Am I just blind? Um, There's no roads either, but I think they're going to come in from the right-hand side. So it should be about over there. So we're going to set up on the right-hand side, of course, and I will see you when we get engaged. And our reinforcements came in just behind us, which is actually fantastic. So we've used our boys to try and get them into place. Right, come, 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 guys. I don't know why i sure I was set up behind. They've set up very weirdly there. Very weirdly indeed. Guys, run! Please? Are you kidding me? What is going on? Run, men! Run! Why did you walk? You imbeciles. Well, we'll kill this Akontistai anyway. But a uh, bit of a mistake there. As usual, apparently, in this campaign. We just used our horse archers to harass them. So we're going to keep these two boys together for now. And yeah, that Akontistai has been absolutely devastated. There we go. That's good. We want to kill that general as quick as possible. I really don't know what those troops were doing then. I'm not going to lie. Right. Let's start coming forward. We're going to start getting a bit quicker now. So let's get going up at those boys. And we're going to get our general across. Let's see if we can catch this Matroid Foroid cavalry. There we go. And we're going to get behind them. We will devastate this cavalry unit here. It's going to do a bit of damage to the hoplites. But it, not even that much, really. There we go. They're wavering already. Let's get them. Them jumping through like that just makes more of them die. So it's actually better for us if they do that. Now they're going to charge... Our weak infantry unit, which is a very good idea. So let's get our cavalry through, and we're going to charge them in the back. You need to intercept those boys. Let's get them. Now, their general will be on this side, so that's not ideal for us. But hopefully we can break these boys, because they're not that good. You know, they're not an elite unit like a general's bodyguard. Get fighting, my men. You guys fight them. You guys intercept. So we are going to keep on coming. What else do we have here? Good! The general is dead. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. So, these guys are kind of done now. We can use them to charge. We're going to get through. You guys get through as well. Keep coming. Keep coming. Charge in the back. Charge in the back. These guys are awful, aren't they? Look at them. What are they doing? <laughs> oh, dearie me. Are they withdrawing? No. Still got the progemoy up here. You guys get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Good sir. Right, we're going to chase them. Okay, their phalangites have stopped. That's interesting. Don't really know what to do with my general right now. Probably the best thing is to come this side and charge these Greek hoplites. We actually haven't used our slingers at all, really, in this battle. So let's keep coming with them. Neither have we used the uh, um, rally so you don't die. There we go. They turned, though. They turned. Goddamn bastards. I hate when the AI does that. <laughs> it's not a problem. It's just like they are just... Uh, better at better at uh, better at a micro than us. That's the main issue with it. This is just chaos. What is going on here, man? Everyone's turned and surrounded by each other. This is absolute chaos. Right, general. 
Let us... I mean, why are those hoplites going for them there? I really don't understand that. We're going to go for the charge on them, though. These guys are getting absolutely shredded. What by, though? Is it... I'm assuming it was uh, Javis. But awful, awful, awfully uh, chaotic battle. See, look at the turn there. The turn is an absolute bastard. We've got them, though. So we should be okay. Where is that Akontistai? want you to care, come through this way if you can. Slingers keep on firing, my friends. And you guys chase them down. We will kill all of these. And let's come up here. In fact, let's get our slingers around this way. There we go. Now let's see if we can break them. Let's get after these guys. And God, this was a very fast-paced battle. I've been playing on normal speed, haven't I? This is insanely fast-paced. <laughs> that is why it's been so chaotic, man. Go for the charge, boys. Slingers, keep coming. Yeah, get them. You guys get them now. Maybe you can charge them. That should help us out. There we go. We just need to, like, touch them, and they will run. And that should be everyone. A bit of a chaotic battle. We lost 25%. I don't think that's too bad on very hard. But our generals and our infantry did take a bit of a battering. So let's continue, though. Let's make sure that we run down all of these men to make sure this army is fully dead. I still think we've got enough, especially if we can get some mercenaries to kill everyone. So, yeah, I don't think it's going to be a problem. You guys get over there so you don't do any friendly fire. Same with you, and I'll see you at the end of the battle, guys. Well, I I'm going to call that a glorious victory. It seemed like we lost more men than we actually did, really, to be honest. Killed 888, lost 242. Not too bad, against, especially against more elite troops, really. Um, so, yeah, the Prodromoi, 112 kills. That's insane, but a lot of those is running down people. Same with the Nubian Cavalry. But the Hoplites, 101. Fair play. Some good results in there. And I will see you back on the campaign map. Here we go. And now Kratos is saved. There is this army here as well. But they can only get to there because I want to do one thing. Well, who can move a bit further? Who can't move? You, so the people that came off the boats can't move so well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop us into now Kratis for a turn. I'm going to leave uh, Agostratos Agostrat outside so he gets more movement points. Because they get more movement points outside the city. So we're also going to retrain as much as we can, as long as we can afford it. We're going to pop them to the back. And then we should have enough to do this. I need to check on that army, though, with the spy. What? Oh, my God. That is an awful, awful army. That would be so easy to take out. I'm also going to pop this spy down here just to check for that big full stack. Because apparently it went across to the west. So I want to make sure that it doesn't come knocking. There's also this stack here as well. But I think Alexandria, even though it is fully, like, burnt down... It's still going to bring us a lot of money because it is a large city. We'll still have a reasonable population. So, yeah, I think that's fine. Any more mercenaries? Well, we don't want any more mercenaries. That's the thing, isn't it? So, I'm going to, uh, you know, try and exploit the AI a little bit more with the Diplomat. But I'll do that off screen, guys. And I will see you all again after this end turn. And we may have just cheesed GCS. We didn't get any money from anyone, unfortunately. But we have cheesed the GCS to ally us. Because they were allied to the Ptolemies. And now they're not anymore. Fantastic. And there goes Priene. That full stack of the... Oh, and Acragas. Two factions on the same turn. Unfortunate. I love a bit of Acragas. Now, I would love this guy to come of age here. Yes. Fantastic. What a glorious, glorious adoption. Two factions destroyed. And we got Cadmos as well. Ellis and the Achaean League are at war. Seleucids and the Galatians all expected. And pretty much all expected there as well. Faction announcements. Philiskos got the Priest of Abnoba. More management. Great, actually. Fantastic. Really good. Am I going to say fantastic a fantastic amount of times this episode? Oh, my God. Ptolemies, you just know how to treat a man, don't you? You know. You know. We're going to leave Aristophanes behind in Naukratis. Fortunately, not quite enough to keep it happy. So what I'm going to do is probably leave behind the Nubian Spearmen because 47 Nubian Spearmen, let's be honest, is not going to make the difference in this fight, guys. 
So, 64%, but when that uh, hoplite comes of age, it comes of age, gets trained, it should be fine. And of course, we are hemorrhaging money uh, right now. So, <sighs> very unfortunate, we can't actually get there. Now, the thing is, if I go here, they can't actually get to me, can they? They can't actually get to us. And that is a trash army as well. And this one looks like a better army, to be fair. So let's pop the spy. We'll just put them a little bit further. We're also going to get the yes. diplomat to go and speak to Kyrene. There we go. Welcome. And they are our ally. Oh, fantastic. Well done. Good, 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 good. So they are our ally already, which is absolutely glorious. Let's try and squeeze some more money out of them, though. Regretfully, no, they're probably... Uh, probably uh, don't want to pay for us pay for it because we've already done it before so let's go for alexandria because i really although this guy can come all the way around well they can right now because they can go through alexandria so let's try this anyway and i mean if it doesn't work we can retreat but yeah you can see he can't get around neither can these guys the only problem is when we attack the city they are going to come into the fight but there's only a general in here. This should be absolutely fine. <laughs> he says, he says, oh dear. That was famous last words, wasn't it? Now these ships, do we want to send them back for those slingers? I think we do. I think we do. We can pick up another ship as well. And we aren't building in roads right now. There's not really anything here that's that useful anyway. So yeah, also guys, just so you know, in the first episode, I built this temple. Uh, sorry, the Temple of Artemis, which upgrades missile weapons. That actually only upgrades, you know, normal missile weapons. It doesn't upgrade the slingers. So to upgrade the slingers, that's why the slingers are still bronze right now. To upgrade the slingers, we should have been building the Temple of Poseidon. Something that I just didn't know and I wouldn't think about because it's a special weapon. Is it because it's armor-piercing that it's a special weapon? I don't exactly know, but... We have to upgrade that if we want to upgrade the Slingers. So I might destroy that temple at some point and swap it over. But we shall see. We shall see. But anyway, guys, I will see you after the end turn. And that army that was defending Alexandria has gone. <laughs> what a stupid thing to do, AI. Come on. AI gonna AI, man. But I kind of would have liked to have killed it in the battle. But that's fine. I mean, they don't seem to have too much left. But we are going to take... Alexandria. So let us get into the battle, guys. I mean, I'm going to quick save. I'm going to quick save and auto resolve this. Zero. Come on. Ptolemy is dead. <laughs> Glorious. And of course, let's enslave. We've got the Pharos of Alexandria back. Now let's look at the damage. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 And we still are not making money. Still. Still, and we can't repair the walls, so they could actually uh, come and kill us. So I am going to... Oh, we can't build a fort because we don't have money. No, 850 for a fort. Well, that's fine. Let us get moving then. I am probably just going to leave behind a single unit. Let's have a look at what we could leave behind. I mean, we could leave behind the Greek archers. They're not fantastic. I'm happy to take the horse archers. They're decent. Um, so yeah, I think Greek archers. I'll take the two generals because we need a bit of strength with our cavalry. And it's at 60% already. So let's pop them in there. Can we go up to medium? No. No, we cannot. <laughs> We've captured the wonder and now Agos... I can't say this name. Agothostratos is fabulously wealthy. So I've got two options here. We can go and fight these armies. We know one of them is trash. And the other one is probably not that much better. So let's pop here. How the hell? Okay, this guy's trying to ambush. <laughs> well done, AI. AI. You know, AI is coming out with all the, the crazy good strats in this campaign. What they should have done is not had that guy ambushed and me walk through here so I get ambushed by this army. But, you know, you can only ask for so much from the AI, can't you? But this is a good opportunity to get rid of these boys. So let us get into the fight and let's see if we can just swarm them 
and kill them very quickly before the secondary army comes in. Yes! It's a green day in the sight of the gods. They do not rejoice to see brave men die. By night, though, they will rejoice in a victory. This I pledge to you. Yes, and the men are very happy with that speech. I could have done a night battle, guys, to make sure they only come in, uh, only do two battles rather than one. But I would rather just get this battle done and dusted and just go and kill them. I think it won't make much difference to the losses. So ultimately, I don't think it'll matter too much. So let's get up. Where is their army, though? We can't see the goddamn army. So let's get moving quick. Let's also get these guys going after them wherever they are. Okay, they're over here. Good. We can actually block them off there. That's good. So, let's get going. We're going to go this way. Uh, probably more something like that. So, let's keep on going. Let's also group these boys together. And we've got to be fast here. We're going to be trying to be as fast as possible. If you guys get up there. Infantry, let's bring you forward to there. And these cavalry units, let's get them across. And hopefully we can destroy this army relatively quickly. I think we should be good. Ideally, I want to kill that cavalry. But here comes the Thurio Foroi. If they want to engage my cavalry, that's fine. We can just retreat. That's not a problem at all. Here comes their cavalry, though. And here comes their infantry. Come in for the old fight. And hopefully we can just shoot them with our slingers quite easily. Let's get our generals around the side. And we've got our three units of these boys. These guys are on skirmish mode, so it shouldn't be a problem. All right, let's get into the fight here. In fact, get you guys in there, you guys there. And hopefully we can kill that Matroy Foroy cavalry relatively easily. There we go. The battle lines are drawn, my friends. The battle lines are drawn. We're going to come up here as quick as possible. And I think we can probably deal with this army relatively quickly, but we shall see. We shall see. They're getting shredded by the Slingers. Goddamn, who's also getting shredded? This unit is getting shredded. Let's try and charge in the back of these uh, Greek Hoplites. We're going to charge them as well. Remember, we've got not the Greek Hoplites, the uh, Thurio Foro. What has happened to this battle line? Why are they all just so blocked out? They're still only, uh, they're still steady. That's a little bit problematic. Right then, Cav, let's get out. Let's try and deal with... Okay, that should help. That should definitely help. But what is going on with this Thurio 4? I absolutely shredding us here. All right, let's get these guys while they're wavering. Go, go, go. Charge, men, charge. That's them broken. Let's kill them all. And then hopefully we can deal with this one relatively quickly. You two units of infantry, let's get here. Slingers, let's uh, maneuver you up here slightly so you're a bit more protected. We're also going to bring these missile men through here. And the rest of the cavalry, let's see if we can go for one more charge on the Thurio Foray. They are distraught now, so that's good. Hopefully, we fully destroy these armies by doing this. But we shall see. Shaken, not stirred. Still just shaken. Okay, cavalry, let's get out then. Let's get up here. Can we fire in there? Yeah, they, they, somehow they've swapped around, these boys. I have no idea how, but they have. Are you going to fire or not? Fire? Fire? Maybe? And that's going to destroy that unit of hoplites. So we are going to attack that Matroy Foroy. We're going to come through with these boys. Yeah, that hoplite is ruined. So we are going to have to retrain this army very probably very soon. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, they are gone. They are gone. Well, they took an absolute battering against the Thurio Foroy because both sides decided to change sides. I have no idea why. <laughs> But, of course, very hard, very hard is brutal. And look at the Javis going into them now, though. That's good. Let's get our cavalry going. They're not hugely tired just yet. But that is fine. You guys, like, what is this charge? Like, it's awful. You lose so many men on the charge. Let's go after the Macho Foroi still. Let's keep going. Okay, there we go. They're rioting eventually now. Now we need to deal with them. That was awful charge from us. But we should win pretty easily still. Come through, my men. Right, Slingers. Let's get you a little bit further forward. Ideally, in fact, we want to get some of you around this way if you can. Some of you around here to fire at the Phalangites. Those Phalangites are going after our, our cavalry. So let's get out of there ASAP. 
Our cavalry really has been an absolute beast in this battle, I'm not going to lie. Right, Slingers. Let's keep coming. Keep coming all the way through, my friends. And hopefully you guys can fire in there. The Slingers can get behind, fire at these boys. And then let's get all the way through this way. Our cavalry are not too tired. So that's good. And this battle's a lot less chaotic, which is good. Because last battle was awful for chaos. <laughs> Don't want to charge those Phalangites in the back. That's never a good idea. Even if you think it is, they will just turn. The AI loves to turn its troops. So you guys now can fire at them. We're going to go after these boys. You guys fire at them as well. Give them a volley. Give them a volley, lads. Give them a volley. Come on, boys. Give them a juicy, juicy volley. Let's go. Is that a volley? It seems like it is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's insane. The Rhodian Slingers are genuinely insane, guys. With loads of friendly fire there. Right, let's keep coming around. Cavalry-wise, let's get out of there so we're not getting friendly fired. And let's get all the way over here. Can you get through there? Probably this way. Let's go. Um, and 2304, right? You guys just go and kill them. Actually, one of you go and kill them. We need these hoplites. Yeah, they don't like this, do they? They don't like this, getting surrounded. Guys, go. And one of you come this way. You should be faster than the hoplites, goddammit. <laughs> and now I think we just shoot these guys to death. I'd rather not waste any cavalry charging them for no reason. When we can just literally point-blank fire at them. <laughs> oh, look at this. Glorious. Glorious. Just firing point blank in their face. That's what we like to see. <laughs> and here comes this one. You guys do the same. You guys get in there. In fact, go around this way so you're not in the firing line of these boys. Are you even firing, men? Let's get rid of this. Fire, because it doesn't seem like you're actually firing. Looks like they're wavering already. Oh my god, yes, they are firing. They are getting shredded. <laughs> well, a glorious victory, my friends. I'll see you when we get to the end of the battle. Well, another glorious victory. Not quite a marmalization, but close to, and we've definitely destroyed both of those armies. Well, that is certainly a glorious victory for us. Now, we can go after this army. I believe that is the Nubian army that were just like Nubian horse archers and stuff, and our slingers should absolutely shred them if we go for this fight. So we've got to take it. We've got to clean our lands up of all these foolish, foolish Ptolemies. And also Memphis. Ooh. Oh, no. I, I can't think about that now. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting overambitious again, guys. <laughs> so ideally, we want to destroy this army and then siege down Prosopis over here. So let's go for it. And they did retreat. So that might mean we can't siege down Prosopis next turn. But look at this army. It is just absolute trash. Absolute trash. I mean, the horse archers are very good. But we're ideally going to just sit back and shoot them with our slingers. That is the, that is the, uh, the idea anyway. Whether that happens is a different story. So I will see you there, guys. Yes! Agothostratos is getting uh, a lot better, isn't he, at his speeches. And a very grey day out here in the desert, I've got to say. But it may be a good omen for us. Their, ally their arrows will not be flying as we absolutely shred them with our superior range. <laughs> Hopefully. That's the idea, anyway. Let's get these guys all grouped up, and I will engage the enemy, and I'll see you there. Here we go, guys. We're in range now, so we should shred these guys. They have no armor, pretty much. What do they have? Two armor, and they're armor piercing, so that doesn't even matter. No shield, nothing like that. They should get... Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at them just dying. We need to get out of their range, though. And they've just sent those boys like that. That is just an invitation to charge. Nope. Keep coming, then. Shoot, 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 men. Shoot. So hopefully we can just keep skirmishing like this. That'd be fantastic. Let's shoot them. Now, let's go for them. If they get a, a bit more closer, let's go. There we go. Baited one unit at least, which is nice. Hopefully they don't get any javelins off. 
And then we can go and kill the rest of the units. Oh, we've broken them already. Shoot them. Shoot them, men. We've got to try and make sure that we kill them all like we normally do. Fantastic. So a little bit of a skirmish about all this. But it should be good fun. Guys, come on. The, the one thing with Singers is they are quite slow at reloading, it seems. But that's not really much of an issue. Shoot that horse archer then now. And we'll go and mop these skirmishers up with our cavalry. Now, ideally, let's get out of there. Go, 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 men, go. Hopefully, they're going to charge into the, the hoplites rather than the slingers. Get through the lines, men. Get through the lines. There we go. And so many of them died on that charge. They've already routed, so let's get back. There we go, boys. There we go. Let's get all our slingers on guard mode so they don't chase down enemies. Uh, and we are going to come back again. Come back. Are they going to withdraw? That is the one thing I'm slightly worried about. Keep firing, men. Keep firing. Right, let's keep coming forward. Let's do the same again. I'll do it a few more times, guys, and I will see you in a couple of minutes. I almost feel bad for these guys. They literally, they do like, they just stand there and just get melted by the Rhodian Slingers. It is ridiculous how strong these boys are. They are so strong. They are so good. These guys haven't routed, though. Fair play. That single bloke, now he's routing. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Now it's time to come forward again. Let's see whether we can kill this unit just as easily as we did before. Very, very easy to kill these boys. We're also probably going to have to retreat. Looks like they're going to go for the charge. Let's wait for a couple of the volleys. You never know with the AI. Sometimes it looks like they're going to charge. Sometimes it looks like they're not. We're going to get our soldiers very close just in case they do. Look at this. Look at this. They are just getting melted. Melted by the slingers. Rhodian slingers are insane, guys. They are insane. Look at these poor guys. For every single one that hits, it's a kill. I know they've got no armor. It's not like melting a hoplite unit or something, but it's pretty darn impressive. <laughs> Nonetheless, pretty darn impresses. Uh, impresses? Impressive. <laughs> I also love the look of this guy in the top left rather than the generic boy. Really cool. Uh, there's only 13 of them, so let's start firing at these boys. Let's get going. Fire. They're actually able to fire now. Oh, but that's why we're losing men. Well, we will melt them anyway. So, yeah, look at them go. <laughs> look at them die. Bit harder to kill them now. It's like pretty much one volley. Look at that. Brutal. Let's fire at them now. Are they going to go for the charge? But anyway, I'll see you at the end of the battle, guys. So our boys have pretty much used all their ammunition. But what a glorious victory. How many are left? Oh, <laughs> We lost 44 men still. Interesting. But look at this. Rhodian Slingers, 106, 131, 123, 126. Wow. They they just won that battle for us. What a glorious victory. I will see you back on the campaign map, guys. Victory and honor, of course. The enemy army routes. Did we get a retinue? Yes, a captured flag. More, even more morale. I want to see this guy's morale now. Surely it's good. Only zero. I wonder why that is. Where? Oh, yeah. He's like a, um, one of these marching people. Yeah. A Martinet. Iron discipline guy. So, minus two morale from that. So, we're at neutral morale now, which is not great. He also gets minus one from a mere populace. While this man claimed to share the spoils of war fairly among his soldiers, it was clear that they weren't distributed in a just way among the army. <laughs> oh, dear. With the general and his loyal friends claiming the biggest share, it makes them neither more satisfied nor him more respected. Everyone now knows that he rewards more those who flatter him most rather than those who fought most bravely and faced the biggest risks. So we could actually siege this down. I wonder what's in there, though. Do we have any more spies? We've got you. We've got you. So you are there. Well... Could siege this down just with the cavalry. I think... I mean, it's very risky. <laughs> Isn't everything that we do in this campaign, guys. They may actually sally out. They may think that they are better. But we're going to pop back here as well to try and be close so that we can retreat towards them if we need to. Also, no. Let's leave that guy there. Let's not pop him in. And we're up to minus 514 now, which is really good. Ideally, I want to be in a good financial situation by the end of this episode. So whether that means chaining through all of these, then that means chaining through all of these. So let us see. I mean, Alexandria used to be very rich. <laughs> uh, 
And yeah, I am very glad though that rain did destroy Alexandria because it needed to happen. It needed to happen. So let's get more of our OP boys on the ships and let's get our ship going. Let's also join up this guy. Fantastic. And these guys, he's only got one in one management. This guy's got four. Are we on the highest tax rate we can be? No, we are not. So let's go to normal. That's gone up to minus 300. Let's also check all of these. Uh, I'm going to risk 70% there. 65 I'm not because it will most likely rebel. 60 I'm not going to do that either. And let's go up to normal there. So we're only on minus 150. How about Alexandria? No, Alexandria is not happy. I would like to put some forts down, especially here and here. Apparently you can fort wall this off. But here and here... So that we completely block off this edge. And they have to come through across these bridges. So that means we've got a free reign on Cato and Prosopis, of course. So that would be brilliant. But we don't have any money. <laughs> so I'll see you after the end turn, guys. I knew it! I knew it! They wanted to come out and party. And they're going to fight a night battle. Come on, the boys. This should be very nice. For us. 80 troops versus 78. He's also got 7 command. What a beast. Fair play, Apiseon. Nice. But Agothos Stratos will destroy you. Here we go. We've got to go straight away, remember? I'm sorry it's so dark, but it always is. It's very likely they're going to attack piecemeal. So remember, we've got to try and take the city with this as well. So we've either got to follow them through the gates or kill them all. Those are the only two options we have. So what is this? Is that their general? Well, let's go and harass them. We're not going to just sit here and wait for them to get together. So we're also going to have the uh, skirmish mode on. So keep on firing at him, and hopefully we can go and destroy him. Guys, uh, they're going to get shot by the towers, unfortunately, so we need to come back a bit. This poor general, he, what's he doing, man? What's he doing? He's in wedge formation. He's ready. He's just getting revved up for the fight. Come on. Come on, Prodromoy. There we go. Let's rally so we don't die. There we go. That should absolutely destroy him now. Now, remember, we've got to try and kill them all. So let's do that. Three left. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. I guess not. I guess, I guess you don't want to. Well, let's try and follow him through the gates then. Because we want to take the city, remember, guys? So go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Go! Go! Don't stop! Fools! No! Oh, wait. Oh, they... Apparently, the gates opened for us. They were like, yes. Now we can chase them down, actually. And we'll get our cavalry generals into here. Go, 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 men. Go. Go. Get away from the therap... These... Whatever these guys are. Matroy, Foroy cavalry. Let's go. Well, looks like the city's going to be ours. So let's get through here. Why did we lose men then? We lost men somehow. I think probably friendly fire. So I'm thinking we get these guys here. Uh, and we tell them to stop firing. Stop firing for now. And um, where are our generals? What are they doing pathing wise? They are not very happy with the pathing, are they? Are you going to kill him or what? Like, now fire. There we go. There they go. Kill them. Kill them all. Kill them all. Rally them in again. Now, we should be able to do a pretty good job of killing them here. Prodromoy, go for the charge in the back, and we should be able to kill them. Remember, we're on the town square now, though, because we chased that other army. So, a little bit damaging. Let's go for the charge with these boys as well. We may have to withdraw from this out of the fight. Especially if the generals take a battering. But there we go. Uh, right then. Let's try to get away if we can. Do not want to lose the men for no reason. So let's get out over here. It's very hard for them to get out. Apparently. They do not like to path here. They very much do not like to path. They just run back into the enemy. Oh, come on, guys. Oh, why do I always have the most messiest plays when I'm playing on this hot seat campaign? <laughs> Oh, dearie me. Always seem to be very messy. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and use our horse archers. 
to make us survive this. Guys, will you fucking run? What are you doing, you fools? Well, we have about equal horses to them. Just, yeah, there we go. I mean, they attacked us, so he should want to come and attack us. But apparently not. Apparently he wants to stand on the, uh, the town square. So what we're going to do, we're going to get all our men lined up here, ready to charge. And we're going to bait him, of course. That is the only thing we can do. So let's get over there. And if he doesn't want to be baited, we'll just shoot him to death. Or or close to death. <laughs> Why can you not go there? What's, what's wrong with that? There we go. Now fire. Should be in a much better position to fire. I mean, not killing many, are they? Fire? Right, well, I'll see you in a little bit, guys. Oh, no. Here they come. Here they come. Let's go, 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 go. Get out. And please path properly. Come on. <laughs> come on, man. There we go. No. Looks like they don't want to fight. So fire at them again. Really, really doesn't like the pathing here, does it? It's every time one of them dies that they start charging off the town square. I don't know why they're going to the town square because they attacked us. But that's fine. So I'll see you in a little bit, guys, when I've properly cheese this. So here goes for it, guys. I mean, this <laughs> we lost a few of the cavalry, but yeah, th they've just been sat here about half, well, about a third of the ammo, and they haven't killed a single man. So uh, we're going to come through. We're going to go for the big charge, the big final charge, and see whether we can break them on the charge. I mean, they're on the town square, so they won't break. But let's try and go for the charge and then see how many we can kill, because I think we might be able to beat them just in general, based on the charge. If we get a good charge off, that was not a good charge. So that's not going to work, is it? Did manage to kill a couple. There we go. That's it. That's what we like to see. 27 versus about 20 or so. Um, come on. We should win this, but we are on very hard. So let's get back again. Some of them didn't charge again, which is a nightmare. So let's get out. If we can get out, if they want to, please come. Please get out, men. Please get out. Please path properly. It helps a lot, you know, guys. <laughs> oh, here they go. They're off the town square now. They're off the town square. Let's go. One big charge. One big charge. Let's go. Come on. One big charge. Come on, men. A proper charge this time. Doesn't look like we're going to have a proper charge again. But maybe these guys will get a proper charge. There we go. There we go. We go for the charge. Charge properly, please. Please charge properly. There we go. Oh, no. Didn't kill anyone. We need to kill a load on the charge. And this is just not working at the minute. Rally the men, though. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I'm on steam. There we go. Rally. I think we can... I think... Oh, 14, though. 14. Come on. Kill them. Kill them. Come on. We need to win this. Come on. Come on. Yes, 10. 10. Come on. We're winning. We're winning. Let's go. Defeat seems certain for them now. Come on. I don't want to come out either. I really don't want to leave. Come on, men. Go, go, go. Kill. 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 Kill! Come on! Seven! Come on! Six! Yes! Yes! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! One more! One more! Let's go! Come on, men! You can win this! You can win! Rally! Oh, no! I've got Steve again! Rally! Kill! Three! Three! Let's go! Come on! Three! Kill them all! Kill them all! Come on! Two! Two! Go! 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 Yes! One! Yes! Oh my god. If there was an award for the worst gameplay. <laughs> oh, the messiest gameplay. If there was an award for the messiest gameplay, I think I would win it for this episode. Jesus Christ, I've made hard work of all of this. But we did win. <laughs> That's the most important thing, right? 
we did win. And both of our generals survived. So that is really, really important. So I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Oh, good lord. And let us enslave here as well. That should bring us some money. And there we go. They've gone for Alexandria. I really don't care. It's not bringing us hardly any money. Uh, and it's not a very good settlement anymore, even if it is a large city. So really doesn't matter to us. That's fine. And it's a good blocker over there. We might want to put a, port, uh, a fort down over by there and one on this river and just block off them from ever coming across this way uh, while we slowly but surely make our way further and further out into the delta and just leave Alexandria by itself. But I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Um, I was going to say we'll skip the end turn, but I've rambled on, so we made as might as well watch the rest of it go by, flicker by. But yeah, very messy gameplay today. I'm very sorry about that, guys. Normally, well, it's a, yeah. Normally, I play better than this, so I don't know what's happening. But very, very messy. What is this army? Yeah, we're not going to go and fight that. <laughs> First of all, we need to retrain our men. Secondly, we need to bring the Admiral. Admiral, 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 or whatever he's called. Admiral, Admiral, the Navigator. This guy's only two ships. I'm not going to risk it, though, just because we're on very hard. Okay, Argus and Militos have now, um, now been released, which is pretty cool. We can probably scam a bit of money off Argos. So, that sounds good. I love a bit of a scam situation. Let's get these guys. Argos, trade. There we go. Nice. I love to scam the AI. <laughs> it's just funny. Uh, make payment of 3,000 maybe? How about that? No, that's demanding. Well, let's say 1,500. I think that's reasonable for our glorious services as your ally. <laughs> um, yeah, fine. Whatever. I'm not going to worry too much about diplomacy anymore. So... Do need to pop back. What are we going to do with the army, though? This settlement. Let's have a look first. Oh, we can destroy this. Also got river ports. Fantastic. That brings in lots of cash. Can we leave behind five, a single man as a garrison here? I mean, that would be a perfect garrison for a fort. So would this Prodromoy. No, unfortunately, we can't. So we may have to leave someone else. I mean, the Libyan skirmishers... They're probably the best ones. And then we'll take this guy. We'll bring you here. And then let's build a fort. Ah, yes. I mean, this cursed scenario has led me to fort walls, which I don't like to do. <laughs> but it's so cursed that it has led me to uh, to fort walling. <laughs> so Cato Diaspolis is only a town. There's some more large towns across here. So... Honestly, I'm considering just leaving Cato. We don't really need Cato, do we? Um, right then, though. So, should we go for a bit of retraining? I think we wait one turn and do some retraining. And we will leave one single guy there. Let's also bring our general here. Build a fort here if we can. I don't know whether we can. I know they cost money. Yeah, that's an invalid position. What about here? Still in invalid position. Hmm. What about there? Because that'll block... No, I think they could still... Yeah, they could get through that way. That's the... Oh, no, they get blocked when they go to the port. So this would actually work. Ah, it's an invalid position. So I guess the bridge is our friend over there. Why does it always mess up the order there when we do that? Let's get those guys. We don't have enough money to do anything else, which is kind of depressing. Do we have enough money to retrain you, though? That's what I want to... Let's see. Can we leave? 70%. Plenty. Plenty, my friends. Plenty. No. How much do we need? 1,400. That seems like a lot. <laughs> Let's try to Dionysus there. Uh, anything else we can destroy from these places? Uh, like something that's not useful to us. I mean, everything in here is quite useful. We're getting recruitment here, so we don't want to destroy a recruitment building there. We're getting recruitment in here as well, so I don't want to destroy recruitment there. I don't want to destroy the Inland Trade Center. That's a very good building. What about here? Is there anything that's just pointless? 
We need about a thousand, don't we? I mean, we're going to have public order here. That's only 300, though. Ah, there's really, really not, not much we can do here. I mean, I don't want to destroy any buildings in here because this is our homeland and is some of our more richer areas. So it's definitely not worth destroying things there. Maybe we can try and sell some map information to Argos. We need a thousand golds. Would you would you consider? Would you consider my friends? Thousand gold? Okay, yes, they would. Fantastic. Sorry, AI, we've scammed you once again. <laughs> a single man is a perfect port uh, fort garrison, I'm not gonna lie. So let's retrain that last boy, and then I'm sure we'll be back to very negative cash next turn. But we've got a relatively decent army now. Hopefully these guys get a few more men. Who's got better management? You've got better management, so we'll... Management? I can't speak. You've got better management, so we shall leave you there. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end the turn here, so I'll see you in a little bit. Oh, glorious. We have another guy. Now, where is he going? Oh, he's gone into roads. Well, that's not ideal. Um, but for now, he can just learn things in roads via the... I think we've got a scriptorium or academy here. Yeah, scriptorium. So... Let's leave him in there. Now, we do have something slightly scary. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> How? <laughs> oh, my God. Extreme mode, man. Extreme mode is really is extreme. <laughs> so, let's keep going. And drop these boys off here. In fact, it's probably better to drop them off there. Because we are going to go for Kato now. Now, we're not going to go for that. Can they get... Yeah, they can pretty much get all the way through. They can actually go through that way as well. So, that sounds like another fort wall. <laughs> yes, yes. So, let's do that. And we'll use the five Prodromoi to deal with that. We'll leave Aristophanes behind. 64%. Um, well, we'll have to leave the Nubians behind then. Because we can't afford this to riot. 69! I mean, nice, but also not nice. <laughs> Get here. Fort time. Oh, we don't have money for a fort. Well, I'm sorry, AI, but you're going to have to get scammed again. <laughs> Where are we? Where is our diplomat? Anyone in here willing to give us some more money? Oh, my God. It is chaos over here. Oh, who are you? You're Greek city-state. Boetians. Let's see if we can scam some money off you. I know this is so cheap, but at the same time, this is we have to do this right now to, to survive. To us. Like we cannot do... Oh, we can't really do anything. Antigonids, have we got anything to offer you? How about map information? We're not giving you that for a little while. We need 500 gold just for a fort. That's all I need, my friend. That's all I need. Regretfully, no. We must decline. Please! This is so desperate. This is desperate times, guys. Desperate times. Generous for an alliance with the Achaeans. Who are they? Yeah, they're not any of our enemies. 2,000? Going to be good? Regretfully, we offered too much. Lying. What about map information for like 500? That's all I need, my friend. That's all I need. Regretfully, no, really? Wow. Uh, Ellis? Let's go Welcome. back to Ellis. Map information. I know we might have, might have sold map information to these guys before. We don't want 400, actually. We want 500. 500. There we go. Please accept this gift. Their offers 748. They demand 200 a turn. Well, how does that work? Oh, <laughs> well, I guess we're the bank of the ancient world now. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 That's so strange. But now we can uh, at least build a fort here. Block them from coming across. And what I'm thinking of doing, actually is going for Memphis. So if we have a look here or what this this one's called Letu Polis. Oh, they can get they can get through that way. Oh, could we beat this army? I mean, we could beat this army probably in a defensive siege. But very not with this army as well and very unlikely in an offensive siege. So yeah, all is not well <laughs> right now. Can we swap these guys around? 68%. Better than 65. And we can go up to normal there. Uh, I mean, I can swap out maybe one of these garrisons at some point. 
But yeah, Alexandria is probably going to die. That's unfortunate, but it's unfortunately something that is just, you know, part of the game. Um, I really thought this area would be richer. <laughs> when, I, when I came up with this plan to start with, I really did think that this whole area would be a lot richer. So, but anyway, guys, I'm going to pump through a couple of turns, probably... Just to see if we can start being a bit more stable with our cash for a little while. So I will see you in a couple of turns, guys. So they have come to try and take the settlement. And I am going to fight this. I probably won't show it. But I'm going to try and fight this just in case they just have a ram. So that I can just shoot the ram with fire arrows. But I'm, it's very likely they've got ladders and everything as well. But I'm going to fight it anyway, guys, just to see if we can do a little bit more damage than the auto-resolve would. Well, goddamn, they do have ladders. <laughs> so, yeah, not going to be great, but we are going to target the ram, of course, and just see what we can do. Probably nothing, but maybe we can get rid of the ram and do a bit more damage. We are actually shooting them now. Shoot the ram. There we go. Shoot the ram. Maybe we can burn the ram. That probably won't make any difference overall. But, yeah, it doesn't even look like the ram is going to get destroyed anyway. Even if, even though it's been hit by a million arrows, nothing is going to happen. Oh, well. Well, let's just shoot as many people as we can while we are on the walls. And, uh, yeah, we, I don't think we killed anyone. We've killed, like, four people, really? That's awful. These archers are weak, man. So weak. Don't really do anything. Okay, that's good. We managed to get some of the Thurioforoi in the back. Fantastic. Keep firing at the Thurioforoi in the back. And now they come. Now they're going to fight. Our guys will stay on the walls forever, though. So that's one good thing. And also, you know, these towers are still ours for now. Until our guys die. So, you know, they might get stuck there for a little while. And we have killed a few men. Well, quite a lot, actually. That's definitely more than we would have. Yep, uh, that's definitely more than we would have if we'd have uh, auto-resolved this, so, yeah, well, yeah, seven, you know, 68, that's fine, that's not bad, so I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. And Alexandria falls once again. <laughs> so, guys, it's been a day or so since I last played this little playthrough, this episode, and I have spoken to Rain. And I've asked him whether I could continue for a little bit longer. Just because, you know, our situation is not stable. And that's what I wanted to give to him, was a stable situation. So what I'm going to do is I am going to play a few more turns. Try and push through a few turns. And probably edit quite a bit out so the video is not exceedingly long um, for that. I will let you know any major things that happen. But I'm hopefully going to play a couple of turns. We've also got this army here that I really do want to get off the boats in the right place. So it looks like that might be the only place. So let's get them off here then. That is the only place. That is the only place that they can go. That's fine. And yeah. I also noticed that these guys here can come through. So <laughs> I didn't realize there was... Two more crossings here as well. <laughs> but, yeah. And also, what is this fort supposed to do? I can't really remember why I put that there. Uh, I mean, is there a crossing? Oh, there's a crossing there. That makes sense. Okay, <laughs> that's that's better. That's at least a reasonable fort. Um, and like I say, we couldn't build a fort down here. So we're just going to have to rely on them trying to take now Kratis. So we really, really need to get economically stable. And unfortunately, at the minute, we are not economically stable at all. These places are so poor now after all the enslavements. We're going to have to jump this garrison around between these two as well. And also, wow, I did not realize now Kratos would be so upset. What is the problem here? Massive cultural unrest. Oh, dearie me. Minus 15% happiness. Aristophanes is not a very good general, is he, for uh, this? And we need to keep Naukratis because it's a very important region for us. So, yeah, that's not great. 
But that's fine. Anyway, guys, I will probably do this battle and show you the results. A glorious victory then, guys. And yeah, we only lost 65. Did pretty darn well. Uh, and we didn't actually need to bait them off the town square this time. They came and fought us, which was really, really good for us. Got a couple of damage on the Rhodian Hoplites. A couple of damage, a little bit of damage on the Rhodian Hoplites. But apart from that, everyone else stayed pretty darn well. So I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. And of course, we're going to enslave. And that has nearly sorted out our economic problems. How much is this? A thousand. And we're only losing 300 now. Problem being now, we can't really leave anyone in here. And 30% is not enough to make them happy. Oh, well, it looks very much like this is all blocked off, this region here. So if we go for that settlement, that's fine. So for the time being, I could leave someone behind. It seems a waste. But if I maybe merge this guy into all of these boys... So if you hold control, you can do this, guys. And stick him in there. 65% is actually not too bad. I'm willing to risk it for now. And if we have to swap over a garrison, maybe, then we can do that. How about even if I left here, would that work? 63%. I mean, if I go into there and I swap you over to there, will that be enough? Yes, it will be. It was just enough troops in general that is fantastic so let's come through to mendez and then it does have a little gap through there it seems but we've got a fort this side i mean we can go that way i mean the problem is for them can they they can reach all the way over here of course this army do we fancy our chances against that army? <laughs> not really, I'm not going to lie. How many troops do they have? They've got 15, whereas we've got 10. So that would be an incredibly, incredibly brutal battle if we were to fight that. I don't think we would win. But honestly, at this point, there's only one thing we can do, and that is continue to take settlements. Why do we go down so much in finances there from taking the settlement to putting the garrison in. I mean, is it because of our armies? Yes, it is. So our armies do have a um, a cost to running them across the map now, which I think is really good. It makes everything more tactical and harder. So this is fantastic. I mean, we have a clear retreat route if we want it. So that's definitely good. I just hope we don't retreat into the fort and then they siege down the fort. But let's see. Let's see what happens. And then we'll get these guys up into the army. That'll be a good bolster of force. But we really don't have much infantry. That is a major issue. And of course, so many of these towns are really, really upset. We're going to have to put you on low. That's actually fine. If we could leave there, that's still 55%. Let's just check all of these. Low. Yeah, everywhere is on low. And they're still incredibly upset. And everywhere here is so poor. So unbelievably poor. They're making pretty much all their money from farms, but we're losing so much money from corruption. Oh, I mean, let me try one thing, guys. So we're on minus 1,180 right now. Let's have a look at Naukratis. Now, if we made Naukratis our capital, let's have a look at that number. 675. So, we're kind of not roads anymore by doing this. And, of course, roads over here is going to have some serious corruption now. But that has definitely helped our economy quite a lot. But anyway, guys, like I say, I'm going to try and push through a few turns. And I will see you very soon. Well, the next settlement seemed more bloody. But, in fact, it was just because, you know, we, we heavily relied on the general here to take the city and kill their cavalry. There were some few uh, harem scare moments, but overall, I think, a good result. So another city is ours, so hopefully we'll be in a lot more stable situation now. Mendes is now ours. Glorious! Fantastic! Let's get rid of that. And we are in a much better economic situation right 
now. Now, that doesn't mean a huge amount, to be honest. But... <laughs> yeah, we're going to carry on for a couple more turns, guys. I'm going to try and take a few more settlements over here and definitely make sure we're still happy in our main settlements over this region. We can actually get rid of this one now. We do not need that anymore. And we can move these forts upwards, which will be great. And for now, I'm actually... Oh, although there is only one guy in there. I'm contemplating leaving these guys in there just for one turn. Just so that the generals can get a bit of replenishment. And yeah, I will see you in a little bit then, guys. On to the next settlement, guys. Leonton Polis. And then... So if we look at these guys, there's a couple of routes across. We can fort wall there as well. I've had to jiggle around all the garrisons. Got rid of these two forts because once we've taken this, we'll need a new one. Um, and yeah, jiggle around the garrisons a little bit so that they're all happy because we did have some serious rioting in this region. And I'm sorry there's not been any huge battles in this episode, guys. We may still have one, but... I also tried to bait these guys to come and attack us by being on the river crossing. Because I think we could do very well on a river crossing. But unfortunately, it didn't work. This army has just stood here the whole time. So, yeah. I don't know what's going on with that. Also, this other full stacks all the way over here. They've taken this settlement. So, they are likely going to keep going after Kyrene, which will be fantastic. But anyway... I will do this battle, guys, and I will see you afterwards. Well, we have won this battle as well. We just used the generals. That's all we used. So we lost no men. And I did try auto-resolving before doing this battle just to see whether it would give us very low losses. No, over 100. So that's the difference between playing the battles and auto-resolving them on very hard. Let's, of course, enslave... And we'll destroy this building as well. How happy is it? 190% of course with this army in there. Now I want to take a look at where we could go next. I mean we could go down south towards um, Memphis and all that sort of thing. Or we can go east. I kind of want to take these ports. Because I would say that these ports are very, very rich. I know it sounds silly. But they could get us very rich trading with our other ports because none of these ones right on the delta actually have ports which is uh yeah bit of a disappointment now i'm wondering though i went there like surely that's gonna bait them into into battle because i'd love to bait these guys into a battle but i might i may try that and yeah see whether we can do that at all. 12,800 for the councillor's chamber in Rhodes, which is insane. That's a lot of money. <laughs> but I think, yeah, I think let's try baiting them. We'll leave behind a single Rhodian slinger. See whether that's enough to make them happy. I mean, it may even be happy if I take everyone out here. No, still 50%. So we've got to leave the slinger behind, unfortunately. And what do they have? Nothing worth destroying. So, yeah, I think we're going to bait them there and see whether that works. If not, we'll put some forts up and then we'll go for Tannis. So, this army has attacked now Kratis from Alexandria. So, we're going to have a go at them. Let's see if we can beat them. And then I think, you know, we're in a relatively okay situation. We've got this blocked off here. Unfortunately, we cannot put a fort here. It's an invalid placement for a fort. So, but they should, if they come here, they will be blocked by Leonton Polis. So that should be fine. They've also got this army here as well. Um, and they've not sieged down the fort. They're just standing there. Um, but yeah, what I'm thinking now is to go for this army, kill it, and then maybe try and retake Alexandria. They have damaged walls, so they may be able to be retaken straight away. I'm also considering getting a spy from somewhere if we have anywhere... That can get a spy over here. It doesn't look like we do right now. And then I'm thinking of trying to get peace with the Ptolemies. And just seeing what happens after that. So let's see what we can do about this army, guys. They do have a good cavalry advantage. But I'm thinking a slinger advantage should really take the day. 
for us. Finally, an actual proper battle. Let's see how it goes. God damn it, after all that, that army is now withdrawing. Bastards, bastards, are they gonna, they're gonna outrun us as well. You are kidding. What? Bastards. Absolutely brutal. We didn't need that, did we, guys? Well, thank you for wasting my time, Ptolemies. <laughs> Great. So I am gonna plop a fort down here as well, because that should completely block off this region, because as you see, there's only one tile to the side of it. I mean, they can stand on that tile and then go, but I don't think the AI will do that. Right, we're going to remove our army from here, though, for now. Get them behind here. And we're going to put in this guy into the fort. And they're still happy. Good. Fantastic. Right, then. We've got a decision to make. What do we do next? Do we go for this army? Do we go across to Tannis? I mean, Tannis is probably the option. A lot of these places are large towns, but yeah, I think Tannis is the option. But honestly, at this point, I think we're more stable than we maybe have been for a little while. And of course, this episode has been going on for pretty much forever. So um, yeah, I might hand it across to Rain now, I think. That big full stack's gone somewhere else. I don't know where. We're protected here. We're protected from the south. We're protected this way by Leonton Polis. We're also protected here via this fort. And I think to play anymore, the episode's going to be extremely long. And I don't want to overstay my welcome, should we say. So we've got our guys in now, Kratos, ready for retraining if he wants to. Um, we've got some new armies coming along. And we've also got... Uh, what else have we got? Yeah, we've got a few buildings in the works. Of course, we need to upgrade now Kratos very soon, and we need to upgrade roads, but we don't have the money to do so. Although, yeah, Rhodes has actually gone down now because they have a, a negative population growth when they go above the level they should do. We're bringing another general across if we can fight right. Oh my god! Ptolemies, are you kidding me? Where has this, uh, this navy come from? How have you got such a large navy? That is stupid. God damn. Why would you not path around this? Ugh. Dickheads, man. Dickheads. Honestly. Well, we'll have to retreat when we get attacked there, if we do get attacked there. Um, but everything else, I think, we're decently in a good position. Decently. I say that with such a caveat. We're not in a great position, are we? But we are training a few boys everywhere. So hopefully this army, honestly, it's going to be a pretty big one soon. And we've got another general on the way if he makes it. So we should have a fairly decent-ish army of about, you know, 13, 14, 15, and still be positive in terms of money. So that should be really good. And then hopefully we can rebound and push back, push them back even further. Maybe retake Alexandria, whatever we want to do. And then maybe get peace with them. In fact, I'm going to try and get peace with them for now. It's very demanding, apparently. What's this compensation then? Our settlements are not sufficient value. 196,000 they want for that. So I'll give you map information. I will also offer to attack someone that you're at war with. Like Kyrene, because that's not really going to matter to us. Um, God, there's a lot of factions, isn't there? How about Carthage? <laughs> Kyrene, maybe? Kyrene? Can we find Kyrene? Can we find Kyrene? No, that's Cappadocia. Come on. Where where the hell is Kyrene? I must have gone past them, surely. What? Kyrene? I completely must have missed them. Where where the hell are they? They're not, you're not, they're not on this list. I can't see them. Are you joking me? Come on. Well, no one wants to see me just do this. Yeah, they're not on the list. Whatever. We'll sure, offer. But no, they definitely don't want to cease fire right now. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, that's fine. I think we're okay in this situation. We've got this army here. I don't think that army's going to gonna be worried, worrying too much about what it can do. But you can see, apparently it can come all the way through this way. What? Round here. No, if it gets stopped by Leonton Polis, surely... I mean, I can go and make a fort over this way just in case. 
Let's do that. I know it costs money, but let's make sure no one can actually get through. So how about that now? I mean, yeah, it's going to get stopped by the, the fort. So uh, that's fine. Anyone we can pop in there that's very cheap, that would be good to stick in there. Probably you, but I doubt we'll be happy enough to do it. I mean, 65 percent's not too bad. Is there anyone else? This 47 slingers can go in there. Um, but yeah, I think once we can consolidate our troops, we're going to have a pretty darn good army over here. And yeah, we should be able to, of course, carry on going forward. Let's see anyway, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Go and check out Rather Incoherence channel as always. And thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.